You ever been fishing? I haven't been in many goddamn years, so that's why I figured it was time to go fishing. Together. In a video game. Today's review is The Black Bass, which was developed by Gamu and published by Hot B Co. It was originally released on the MSX computer in 1986 and was later ported to the Famicom in 1987 in Japan. It was not released outside of Japan, and in this review I'm just going to check out the Famicom version. Now, The Black Bass is the first game of a somewhat well-known series from the 8 and 16-bit era that had to do with fishing. Matter of fact, it was a sequel later on that I actually played quite a bit of back when I was a kid. But I didn't even know about this game until about four or five years ago. I was doing a little research and I came across it. So in the black bass, you must catch as many black bass as possible from sunrise to sunset. You may select a ranked game or a beginner. Of course, with a ranked game, it requires a password. Then you go on and select a location on the lake to start at. Then a lure you want to use to cast out. Then, of course, you get to cast out and you wait for a fish to bite. You can lure a fish in by moving it around, and if it bites, you can reel it in. Too much reeling could cause the line to break and loss of the fish and lure. This is pretty much the game right here. It's not story-driven or anything like that. Technically, I guess you could say this is a fishing simulator. The graphics for the Black Bass are not bad. Granted, this is an 8-bit console, and it's not going to be mind-blowing graphics or any of that shit. The game is colorful. The fish, when they come around, look like fish. The design of the underwater is nice for what it is. The game doesn't slow down, glitch, or anything like that, which is nice. It could be a lot worse than this. Of course, when it comes to the music, it's a bit rough, especially the title screen music. It almost sounds like mangled shit. Some of the other music throughout the game isn't so bad, but it could be a lot better than this. As for the sound effects, not much for them, but it's tolerable. When it comes to the controls, well, let's face it, this game is really fucking easy to play. You cast and then you reel in. Pretty much there's going to be times you're just going to sit there and wait for a fish to come around. They do respond quite well, which is also great. Nothing to complain about here. The Black Bass on the Famicom is an okay fishing game. For it being on an 8-bit console like this, it could be worse than this. Personally, I don't think it's the best game of the series or best fishing game I've ever played during the 8 and 16-bit era. It's playable at best. The graphics are okay, the music is not that good, and the controls are simple and easy to understand. If you want a copy of The Black Bass, there's a few copies on eBay. One for $11.99, one for $0.99, $2.06, $5.39, $1 dollar and prices in between. Not bad. I think $11.99 is a bit much, especially for a simple fishing game, but it could be a lot worse than this. Now, when it comes to sequels, there's a handful of them. Like I mentioned earlier, I talked about the Black Bass on the NES. That was released in 1988. The Blue Marlin on the NES. Super Black Bass on the Super Nintendo. Black Bass Lure Fishing on the Game Boy. Bass and Black Bass on the Super Nintendo. Big Bass World Championship on the PlayStation. Black Bass on the PC. American Bass Challenge on the Game Boy Advance. And then there's Super Black Bass 3D on the Nintendo DS. And if I recall, there's a few more in there somewhere. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Black Bass on the Famicom. Thanks for watching.